Hello, welcome to seventh video of Ruby on Rails Airbnb clone series. In the last video, we prepared this uh, navbar. We cleared out some of the code and we introduced a custom color which is named as primary. Okay, in this video, uh, we will introduce authentication system. And it's uh, like Rails has a wonderful system named Jam, named uh, device. So we can handle our authentication using that. But before that, let's go to our Airbnb. Let's check out authentication. Sign up. Okay, use another account. There are various sign up processes. But for our case, we won't introduce these options right now. Uh, if our if our video series is short enough, we will introduce them later on. But right now we will focus on only using email based. Okay. I'm using this because device supports this. Okay. And it can be mobile. It can be any one of these authentication, but we need one authentication system. And right now for this video, I'm choosing the easiest one. So let's start with that. And what all things they are using in sign up. Use another account. Continue with email. Let's write test one, two, three at the gmail.com. Okay, email password fine okay no worries and it's in a model we'll see if we need this model or not okay anyways let's start so as i have already mentioned in ruby we call gems libraries are non-instance so device rails gem this first link and this is also a great website similar to ruby guides earlier ruby on rails guide uh, ruby gems provides all the libraries to us so in this we can go to documentation first we'll go through it and then we will decide what all things we have to do okay so this is the gem file we can already add this in our gem file and then install this okay sounds good what how does it work uh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, starting with Rails, add, getting started, add device, okay, generate, install, okay, then we have to configure our, okay, so what all things are there in auth authentication, uh, login, sign up, forgot password, and maybe reset instructions, I'm not sure, but if we are using forgot pa password, we will have to send email to <coughs> our user, right? So for that, we will have to use this line. At this point, no more instruction. Okay. Then generate model. Yeah, this is important. So Rails, as I've already mentioned, we can generate a lot of things using Rails. Last time we generated controller, I think. So Rails generate. This time we have to generate a device model. Here we will use any model name. I think our, for our case, it will be user. Uh, migration we will have to do the migration part that's good in any file we can use this okay so this is the main advantage so assume that we are on booking page this one okay and now we want to like this okay or add it to the favorites or bookmark this right so if we click on this because we are not logged in user should we should guide the user to log in first right so let's click on this and it is mentioning that user should log in first so how will our code know that okay user is logged in or not so all these things gem or device gem can handle automatically so they have a method like user signed in which will return true or false they have a method known as current user will which will give us the current user details user session whether the user is logged in or logged out and a lot of other things uh, but i think these are the most important things for us then these things will come up later okay i think we should get started directly uh let's copy this i'll copy this in my gem file okay okay <coughs> again arranging this alphabetically and what is the next gem install device okay mm, 
bundle install should have also worked. Let's try bundle. It, it's same. You don't need to do both the things. We have done that. What does the documentation say? Okay. This has been done. Generate, install. Okay, we have to install this. Let's see what all has changed. Only the gem file has changed. That means device code has not been introduced yet. So we will have to install it. Rail generate device install. Okay, it has few instructions. What is the first instruction? Ensure you have defined. Let's ensure you have defined what default output you are in your environment files. Let's go to our environment files. Environment is configuration. So because of that, I have to go to config. Okay. What I'll do is I'll copy this in production also. So during deployment, I can take care of it. Yeah. At least I can remember device. But we cannot use this in production because it won't be local. So right now we can comment this. And okay, we were following some steps here. First step we have done. Second, ensure you have defined root URL to something in config routes. We do have that home index we do have that let's just confirm this routes root home index okay so second step is done third step ensure you have flash messages in application oh uh, i'm not sure if you need this right away let me check views layouts application we don't have it but We'll see if we'll need this. We'll actually need this or not. Okay. Uh, or maybe I should just copy this and paste this. Let's do this. Let's follow these steps and later on we'll see if we have to change anything. And finally, you can copy device views. Okay. This we will need. We will have to create our own sign up and login page, right? So you'll have to generate those. Let me get status. Right now there is device local did this, this. Okay, let me try out one thing. Localhost slash. Users slash sign up. No route found. Okay, so we'll have to create this. And for that, what is what's the fourth step? Fourth step was to use Rails G device views. Okay, Rails G generate device views. Do we actually you can copy views? Let me check the documentation. Well, we have done this. Okay, we have to generate model first. Looks like that. We can generate views also, but right now I'll focus on create, creating the model. Rails, because I just want to show something. Device, and we'll name this as model as user. Now, if you'll notice, it has created following files. One is one is in model user.rb and then another one obviously these are routes right now we are not focused on that and then there is a database let's go to our database earlier we had not introduced database uh, like it it did exist but there was nothing going on in that so let's have a look at this database it has an email encrypted password reset password token all these things so it automatically take care takes care of all the authentication work for us and now we will have to migrate this database because whenever we are making any change with database, we always need to migrate it. So Rails DB migrate. I think before Rails 7, is for, for all database related queries, we were supposed to use Rake instead of Rails, R-A-K-E. So if you are using version 
below 7, you might face those issues. Let's do this. Okay, it has been done. Now let's see our database again. And you can see there is a schema which actually defines our entire PostgreSQL database. Okay, so there is a table named user and then it has a lot of different parameters which helps us in authentication part. Now let's do one more thing. Undefined method device for this, this, this is okay. Bin slash dev restarting my server. Let's see what does it say. Yeah, now it's working correctly because uh, whenever you migrate database, you have to restart your server. User sign up. Let's see. So we can see this page looks like this. Where can we edit this? We should figure this out. I think that's why views are needed. Yes. We have models, but there is no change in our view folder. Whatever changes there, we have introduced that. So we will need view of this code also, like this code we will need. So for that, we have to generate those views. What was that view? Rails G device views. Okay. Rails G device views. Now we can see app views. A lot of things are have been introduced in our views. So now we can make changes. Let's have a look at that also. Let's close a lot of these files. Views device folder has come up. And in that we have registration. I think it should be sign up. Session should be login, forward password, email related stuff, confirmation, email confirmation related stuff. I think all those things. So let's do one thing. We are on which page right now? Sign up, right? Sign up should be registration. And it should be new registration, I am assuming. Let's try it just for testing purposes. So now we are sure that we can make changes and that's what we wanted actually. So that's one, but another advantage is let's use sign in. Let's use test one at the rate gmail.com. Remember me, login, invalid email and password. We can see this and it's coming above airbnb and header because we used this what was it uh, why is it coming at the top just try to figure it out uh, but i'll provide you the answer also it's there because we introduced this in here if we comment this then it won't be visible or if we will change its position then it will be visible somewhere else for now i'll keep it like this because I'm testing things. So we can see that email and password is incorrect because we never signed up. Let's sign up. Oh, test one at the rate gmail.com. Password should be anything with six characters. Let's sign up. Welcome, you have been signed up in successfully. Okay, great. Now let's user sign up. Now you can see that we cannot visit user sign up page because user is already signed up okay same goes for login also great so that's what the power of uh, this device is i think it should be fine that we can uh, finish this video for now in next videos we'll focus on fixing our sign in and sign up page and maybe introduce these options here uh, I'm just thinking what I will do first. I, I'll introduce these options here first, just because if we sign in, we should be able to sign out. Otherwise, there will be an issue, right? So that's it for now. Just a quick revision for this particular video. We used device jam. Okay. You just have to remember that for authentication, we are using device jam. Other than that, you don't have to remember any command. Just go to the documentation, follow the guide, and that's it. Uh, Based on that, you can easily use device chat. That's all. Thank you and subscribe to this channel. Bye-bye.